Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, we are going to be looking at the Swarm Cello. Hello, 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 hello. As I said in the beginning, I hope you are all doing well. Where's my hair? There it is. There's my hair. My hair was missing. What the hell's going on? My hair went missing. Um, I hope you're all doing well. If you're watching over there on Facebook, you can always come over here to the YouTubes at youtube.com slash Jade Star. Or you can head over to their website at How to App on iOS and watch the show live in the browser each day. Or you can watch directly on the Twitch at twitch.tv slash how to app on iOS. Yeah, boy. You may have noticed the show is starting two hours earlier. So we are trialing here on the show a two hour earlier start just for all of the UK people who seem to miss out at 11 o'clock. So it means I have to get up at, count it, 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. right now. But if it means uh, some of you can catch live, because I've had a few people messaging me going, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. So, yeah, we'll give this week a go and we'll see how we go. And um, soon there'll be ch some changes here in my studio and in my house living arrangements. And I'll possibly be moving into the other room, which I'll have a lot more space. And I think it may work out okay for me to start at 6 a.m. each morning. But that's just a little update there on that kind of stuff. Um, uh, if, if you haven't been here live for a while, hello. Hello. Good to see you. Um, are there any, uh, I don't know if, uh, I better say hello to folks. God, what am I doing? How rude of me. Uh, so let's say hello to y'all. Hello. I have an idea. Hello to Nina. Hello to Science. Effin' good to see you. Hello to Dean Thomas, Tom Rochelle, Bubba. Um, who else? Kev. What's going on, Kev, mate? Boy, there's original. Up your bum, mate. <laughs> uh, Andy Goldsby. Hello to you. Good evening. Parent Git. Uh, who else have I missed anyone else? I, do, 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 do. I think I've got everyone. <gasps> How can I forget? How can I forget the illustrious, the illustrious, the doctor's orders? <laughs> to see you doctor the doctor's in the house um hello to everybody good to see you all bubba 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 right so also uh there are some extra things i can tell you about early stream yes uh tom galane we are uh, i'm trying to make it easy for everybody to uh in the uk or for in europe to watch so i'm starting two hours earlier for a week and trialing and see how we go with it so hello audible a video as well um so I can let you know, let's do this. This might look a bit weird for a second. Can I do this? Will this work? Let me see. Oh, it's kind of there. It's kind of there. Just give me a sec. Let's see. Um, desktop streaming. What do I want? I want, uh, can I do it? I don't know if I can do it. Can I do it? Can I do it? Voicemail. No, it's not letting me do it. Uh, maybe if I bring it up over here. Bring that up. Let's see if I can do this. It might not let me. Um, no, it's not. That sucks. All right, we'll screw that. We'll go back over here. So basically what I was going to tell you is we have a Discord now. There's a Discord. So the link's at the top over there, over here, wherever it is, somewhere in the chat. Um, and you can click on that and join the Discord. And um, there's a live chat that happens there. There's, you know, you can ask any questions about apps or anything like that. All what's happening on the show is updated there. So we've already got a few people there in the Discord. So head over to the Discord if you're on Discord and come and join along. There's a you know general chat. There's a whole bunch of rooms, ideas and feedback. There's app chat, kind of um, what's happening with new episodes. There's a live stream chat if you want to chat on there. There's voice chat as well. 
So you can all chat with each other on voice, collaborate, all that kind of stuff. So the link's up the top. If you're on Discord and you'd like to join, come and join us on the Discord. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. So we'll have a look at any price drops with apps. Who else have I missed here? Uh, who's joined? Um, Brad Example. Hello, Brad Example. Hello, Pay in the Get. Hello to Joe. Um, good to see you as well. Hello to Fam. Um, shut up! God. That bitch is going to keep screaming. I'm never going to let her out the basement. Anyway, um, what else do I have to let you know? Oh, yeah. So are there any... Pro Man, she, she can keep screaming. She's never being let out. I swear to God. Um, it's just not going to happen. Oh, dear. What is wrong with me? Uh, let me just bring up this. There we go. Oh yeah, are there any price drops? I don't know, let's have a look, shall we? Oops, that's the wrong thing. Have there been any price drops? Alrighty. So, have there been any price drops? I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's eat, let's eat it, shut up! Shut up, let's, let's eat it. <laughs> You'll get the wooden spoon, Lasita. Uh, man. See, this is what happens when I get up two hours early. All right, so uh, are there any price drops? Uh, DigiKeys is down from $8.99 to $6.99. Um, the usual, I think, Cubases 2 and 3 are still on sale. $23.99 to $15.99. Down from $33 to $33.99 for Cubases 3. Also remember, hey, if you've already got Cubases... All of the in-app purchases are half price as well too. So if you've been thinking about getting those, you've been on the fence, go and do that. All of the Swarm brass instruments are all on sale too. So just so you know, we're looking at Swarm strings cello today, but they have bought down uh, all the, the uh, brass instruments from Audio Modeling are down to $20 as well. Yeah, good times. All right, so we've got all the bizzo out the way, don't we? Lasita. You're not getting out. Alrighty. Um, so what are we doing today? We are looking at the new Swarm strings. And we're going to do uh, four shows this week and take a look at them. Because while I bring this screen up here, uh, Swarm uh, Cello, I can let you know that uh, every episode this week, I'm doing a giveaway. So I have two copies each day that I do a stream. And you can pick whichever out of the four that you like. So if you win uh, for, for this show, but um, so you can pick any of the four. Um, and then what I do is I put all of the winners into a spreadsheet and send it off to audio modeling. And then they'll send me all the codes for what you get. So it'll probably be at the end of all the four shows that you'll get your prizes, just so you're aware. Plus, if you win something on one of the shows, don't enter anything else. All right. So let everybody have a chance. So if you, you are a lucky wi uh, winner of one show and you win an app, that disqualifies you for the rest of the shows just so everybody can get a chance. So we get, at least get eight people walk away with one of these instruments. Yeah, does it sound fair? doesn't really matter. I'm the boss. So just to let you know, as you can see here, you've got um, the Swarm Cello here. So they're currently $19.99. They're on sale, right? But they have released them in a bundle as well. They just dropped them in a bundle. So currently in a bundle there, I think $100. So you can get them all at once, which is fair. Um, but you can get them individually as well. So that's that. And boy, are these things good. If you thought the brass ones were good, these things are killer. Okay, so let's open it up, shall we? And go full screen, yes? Yes, let's see. Let's see, is that a name? <laughs> Doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter what her name is. Alrighty. So here is the interface, which is very lovely. And what I will show you also is I told you a couple of days ago that I ordered the Korg Nanopad 2 and the Korg Nano Control 2. And guess what? In the mail yesterday, I got my new Korg 
Nano Pad 2. Look at that. She's a beauty. Super lightweight. Look at this thing. It's, it's like a, the size of a ruler. It's so neat, yeah? And... Um, <laughs> You've got this XY pad here, which is really cool. So for vibrato, you've got like a, a scale, so I can play the actual pad. You've got like an ARP you can play as well. cool yeah so I'll be kind of using a mixture of this today and you can see I can have my Arturia 37 key step plugged in as well so we can uh, go uh, let's do this pretty neat yeah <laughs> I love this thing. It's super cheap. They're like about 50 bucks US. And um, they're great. And uh, I plugged it into a garage band and it just found all the drums. It just worked. You just plug it in and it works. So let's go back to this and have a look at Swarm Cello because it's a wonderful app. It is really, really nice. And as you can hear, the sounds are beautiful. If you're um, aware of the brass, instruments you'll see it's a very similar layout so nice and simple to get around let's uh start off by looking over here we'll start off over in the right for a change and we'll go through some of these buttons and what they do so this is your tremolo button here so if i hold down a note <laughs> so you can see when i just press quickly on a key get the staccato and when I hold down so that's really neat uh, and now it's set to tremolo off if I turn this tremolo on check this out if I hold down the key And um, even when I'm using this, uh, the uh, nano pad, I can get vibrato as well. So you can see the vibrato moving as I move left to right on the XY pad on here. So that's really cool. I can't get pitch bend on there, uh, but uh, pitch bend works on, your, on my keyboard, all of that. The velocity works with the pads as well. So the harder you press each of the pads, that's really cool. Um, and the same with your keys so if you press light on your keys so the velocity works you will need an expression pedal to uh, you know use the expression but can I'll just say off the bat I think with the strings the expression isn't as vital as using the brass instruments so you recall if you go back and have a look at the videos I did on the brass instruments um, the, the the expression really adds life to the, uh, the the brass instruments where not so much is it that important right that's just my opinion uh, so let's try out this second tre a tremolo so you've got a faster tremolo here yeah it was dark So yeah, these tremolos are really fantastic. Hello to Greg Hernandez. Is there anyone else I've missed who's popped in? 
I don't think so. So yeah, straight off the bat, these three buttons, are this, this little button here, so between, you've got tremolo fast, tremolo off, tremolo slow. <laughs> Neat, yeah? <laughs> really cool. So we'll turn the tremolo off for now. What's that? Ooh, Jude Kapana liked my stream over there on the Twitch. Hello, hello, Jude Kapana. Um, so you've got play mode directly under that. So this is in control of your bow. It's how you play. So currently it's set to bow, and you'll see the bow slide. Cross. So when I press down a key, it goes one way, and if I lift off, it goes back and forward. And you can change the bow to a biscato. So clearly the tremolo will not work with that. We click it again. We get a call ligno. And back to bow. And right next to that is the bow lift. So you can have it off the string. So it lifts off the string which it currently is and uh, when you click that so then it goes on string above that you've got your bow pressure so you can change the pressure i mean there's a lot of detail to this uh, you, uh, it's what you expect from these swarm instruments yeah so if we just take that <laughs> I'm playing in the symphony and the conductor's just going, oh, you stop playing so hard. <laughs> and you can pull it right back. And a double tap will bring you back to le midele. Yeah? All right, so we'll move over to this side now. So you've got your bow, polyphony, polyphony, polyphony. Um, so you can change this. So it's set to a mono string crossing at the moment. You can change it to a mono poly release. To a double. an auto which i'll leave it on plus underneath there you have harmonics this is really fun yeah so the harmonics here now when i go back so we'll just turn this off so now it's off and we'll just play this note here when i turn it on up to number three harmonics so you're getting that real squeak in there too yeah and then we go up to four control it's almost like an electric guitar. Where it almost sounds like a flute. Pretty good, pretty cool stuff. Um, and then back to. Right, so what else I'll show you here is we'll go back to this full screen. Up the top where it says play, you can actually go to the opposite screen. So it's exactly the same as uh, the Swan Brass. 
And this is really cool because you can assign some things. Hey, thank you very much, Kev Hark. Myrtle, oh, thank you very much for the super chat. That's really kind of you. Yeah, look, Thomas Glenn, you are absolutely spot on. These sound absolutely delightful. Let me tell you, they're lovely, lovely, jubbly. So here's the screen. When you hit play, you and you basically got all the same controls here, but they're just a little more friendly. But here's what you get here. So with the virtual keyboard, now I don't own an MPE, but this is the closest thing built into this of an MPE. MPE. God, the super chat thing's a bit late up there, isn't it? But it, it gets there. So if I hold down my finger on this on the virtual keyboard here. <laughs> And I move my fingers up the actual key. I'm controlling the bow pressure. So you can see up above. Which is really neat. And you can assign that Y axis to whatever you like, pretty much. If you go over to the side here to the bow pressure, you can change this to the, the bow fizz position. So now... You can change it to the vibrato depth. Yep. You can change it to harmonics. Now this is super cool, yeah? So as you play and go up, the actual You've got the uh, power to change, turn any of these things on that you like. So you can change the piscato. You can uh, turn on your uh, tremolo to be. Really neat. So you can play with all of these things. I'll just go back to bow pressure from here. You've got your expression button up the top here. So you can change the expression at any time. Uh, you can change the, uh, so you, basically the same settings, plus across the top there, you can actually go into the instrument. Um, you can change, there are different instruments. We'll cover that next. You can change your dynamic envelope. Oh, this is where you can see all of that and your virtual bowing. So you can transpose it any time up in the top corner and to get out of this screen, you just hit the X and we're back here, yeah? Lovely. Look, the sounds are amazing. They're, without a doubt, it's just absolutely beautiful. just have a quick slug of my coffee there let's go through some of the basses uh the uh, cellos because some of them are very subtle the differences and i'm sure you know people who love those subtle intricacies are going to enjoy the the subtle differences of the basses so to do so you just uh use you've got your arrows here to go through them so they change color to let you know what's happening let's just uh so you'll hear the the tombre in each of them as you change. So you can hear a clear difference there. And you've got quite a lot of them too. 
So you can hear that just by flicking between the two. And you've even got an electric cello. And you've got two of these. You've got two of the electric ones. I think I just, yep, yeah, electric two. Electric two, electric boogaloo. Hello, Russ. We'll go back to the basic there. Um, and not forgetting to, there's a whole heap of other options, which we'll have a quick look at because, uh, because I'm doing four different shows on this. Hello, Doug. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you, Doug. Um, so because I'm doing four different shows on this, uh, I'm going to look at them a different way. So today we're just looking at it in the standalone mode. So the next show we'll be looking at, uh, I think it's the... Uh, viola next I think the viola is on the, on the next show that I do and we'll look at that in say garage band we'll look at it in a whole bunch of different doors and I'll uh, have a look at it too with like you know um, an expression pedal and some different kind of ways to control it and stuff yeah but today we're just doing it this way so if you uh, click up here on the MIDI section MIDI 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 this is where you can actually assign your uh, MIDI keys, yeah? So we can uh, turn on the vibrato and stuff. So right now, because my uh, key step is selected, my Atria key step, I can go in here now and hit the, let's see, just the velocity or expression here. And if I click on that, now I can head over to my uh, Aturia and just uh, hit learn. And why are you not doing it right now? You were doing it earlier. That's not very nice of you. I wonder if I can do it, uh, I think I've got it set up. I should have done this before, but it's way early. Um, so, where are we? We'll go in here first. Um, now learning, oh man. I think I have to go into settings and set up. Where are we? Because you do get a whole lot of, hey, here we go. You do get a whole lot of settings in here. Where are my settings? Um, I'll just make sure everything's cool and connected. Good shit. And uh, I don't want to do that. Does this have, I'll tell you what, I'm not really sure now. Where are we? Uh, controller mapping. What export settings audio video what am i trying to do oh, i was actually going to cover this on the next show that's one that's why i'm not prepared for this <laughs> dickhead <laughs> so let's go through some of the other sounds here so so i'm jumping ahead of myself i've already finished my coffee audio <laughs> audible video um so just ignore everything i said there i'm doing that on the next episode I should have been looking at my notes because I've got to pad this stuff out, yeah? So you do have a bunch of uh, presets in here as well. So if I click between these, you'll hear. Sounds are so beautiful in here, I have to say. And you can clearly hear the the the, the tombre, the differences between them. Mm-hmm. 
yeah look at this controller it's really fun really fun I just really love how you can But I'll, I'm going to do a show on this. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, yeah. No, no. So early in the week, I'm going to do a review, uh, like a review and show you all the ins and outs, how to connect all this stuff. And I'll also have the uh, Korg Nano Controller 2 as well. So we'll do both of them in one show. Uh, lots of fun. Lots of fun. So within here as well, you've got your external controller mapping. So you have uh, micro tuning in here as well. Um, you can save presets as well. You've got a user bank that you can save presets. So that's all funky. You know, there's not a large number of presets in there, but you know, it doesn't need to be. There's some beautiful sounds that you can play with yourself and really get the most out of it. Also, you've got some effects too. What would uh, a, something like this be without some effects? And you can find them up in the top right hand corner. And here they are beautifully laid out. So you've got some reverb here. You can turn on the EQ. As soon as you turn that on, you can change the EQ of this. Uh, so you've got your, you know, low, mid, uh, um, two mid frequencies and a high. So plenty to change there. You've got uh, reverb, so you can turn this on and off. got a uh, reverb time there so you can change the reverb out pretty simple stuff you've got some panning there as well that you can play with pretty easy stuff now a, a lot of this the other stuff up up in the uh, top left hand corner a lot of people won't even play with because you know it's it's you could say it's advanced you've got expressivity here so you can go in here and change the expression the vibrato depth the rate you can uh, do all that kind of stuff the pressure and um, get in on the on the ground level and change all that so i can go in and change the vibrato depth <laughs> which I'm controlling by my controller as well on here. So, oops, just close that. Um, there we go. Uh, there you go. Have I tried stops yet? I don't know, I don't know what you mean. Um, just turn down the vibrato there. So you've got play modes as well. Uh, so this, again, all of these things can be found down the bottom, but you, you have, um, you know, these menus on the side here as well. You can get right into the nitty gritty of the tombre of each instrument and the pitch as well. So you can really get in there and do uh, the micro tuning, master tuning, and your advanced settings that include stuff around your instrument and your MIDI profiles here. So let's uh we don't have breath count anyway um i did kind of uh, cover a bit of it over here so the bowl the bow polyphony <laughs> mm. so there you can see we've got uh you can actually hold chords down so um you've got a, a double hold here that's a beautiful touch. You know, you can't do this with the brass instruments. Polly Fanny. We all love a bit of Polly Fanny. Yeah, look, thank God they introduced this in here because that was the one thing when I first uh, was playing with the beta, I was like, oh, really? There's no, no poly? Well, we need some poly fanny. And here it is. Mm -hmm. 
So I think the way it works with the auto, if you put if you push down the two keys at once, you get it. But if you They've done an absolutely stellar job and uh, every instrument sounds wonderful. Again, up the top. So, you know, you've got all these little options here. You've got pretty much the same things down the bottom, just uh, in a, a little easier way to look at. And again, across the top here, you've got selections across the top as well. If we close that out. And plus, if you go into play mode, as I'll show you, you've got all these options up here as well. So you, you pretty much it's three, three ways to uh, get to have a look at all of these options. Um, and just remembering to, and we will cover this in, in another show during the week. We'll show you uh, like using it in GeoShred. So, you know, you can use it with things like GeoShred. There's ways, um, Thomas, if you head over to Thomas Galane Music, so he's in the chat, head over to his channel as well. And he's got this awesome video where he shows you how to use another iOS device as an MPE to control something like this. So pop over to Thomas's uh, channel. I'm, I'm going to be doing it myself because I've watched his, his amazing video on it, but I will be doing it here on the show. But I give 100% credit to Thomas because, you know, that's where I saw it first. So head over to Thomas Galane Music. And while you're there, subscribe to him too because he makes some really good music. <laughs> Good fun. Yeah, so I don't know what else to say about it. I think this is really wonderful. Um, I'm giving away, as I said, two copies. Yeah, and you can use this with MIDI guitar as well. Um, I'll probably demo that in the show that I'm going to do a whole bunch. So I'm going to, in one of the shows, going to use um, MIDI Guitar 2, going to use Geo Shred. We'll do a whole lot of them and just show you a bunch of different apps that you can use this in as well. So you're not limited to just using an external uh, MIDI device or something like a nano pad or anything like that. You can actually use other apps to control this. You can use an AUM, you can use, in, uh, you know, you can use it in uh, whatever you like. GarageBand will do all of those as we go through each instrument. So there's four of them. And today is not going to be too much of a long stream, so we're, we're pretty much near the end. Um, at the last show of all of these, I'm going to put them all together and we'll create something really big. We'll do some orchestral thing for a bit of fun. Uh, but that's it. What do you guys think of it? Do you think it's pretty cool? Do you think this is something that um, is going to float your boat? Because it floats my boat. I think, it, I think they're wonderful. I can't wait to use them. There's a whole bunch of AU, uh, AUV3s and create a, a, an orchestra with them. The other thing is they only take up 48 megabytes on your device. 48 megabytes. It's fuck all. You know, when you see so many apps now that are releasing these gigabytes of sounds, how do they manage to pull this down? That, well, that's the uh, audio modeling technology, isn't it? It's, it's a really good technology. It's fantastic. So I don't know what to say. So, yep, they're on sale at the moment. Introductory price for $19.99. They will go up. They will be much more expensive. Um, and we'll finish off with saying, so I have two copies of any of the four. So if you would like to be in the running, all you need to do is <laughs> leave a comment on this video, like, <laughs> subscribe, and uh, you'll have a chance. And the winner will be announced in a couple of days' time. And as I said earlier, the rules are this. They're nice and simple. You can enter. And if... Uh, so two two uh, will be given away from this show, two from the next show, two from the next show. So we've got eight all up to give away. All right? 
and if you win, you can choose any of the four string apps that are available right now. So viola, violin, double bass, or the cello. But if you win, you can't enter any other show. So everybody gets a chance. So at least eight people can walk away with a copy of it. Share the love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we want from the warts. So yeah, that'll be it for today. I think this thing is fucking awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah. So that that will make that the thing. So yeah, if you leave a comment, just let me know which one you want in the comment. Which one you want? Violin, cello, viola, or the double bass. Do it that way. Just let me know. And look, the, and I'll just reiterate. The winners will go into a spreadsheet, and once all four shows are done. The spreadsheet will be sent off to the guys at uh, uh, Audio Modeling and they'll fill in all the code. So you may have to wait like a week, but trust me, it's that's the way we're doing it. And then they can just put all the codes into the spreadsheet and then everybody gets their codes together. It's just the way they like to do it. And I'm going to play nice because I want you guys to get some free codes. Yeah, sound good. That'll be it for today. A little bit shorter. Let me know in the comments as well if you're happy with me doing the show two hours earlier for those in the UK. Does it suit you? I hope it does because I, I want to try and cater to you all. I can see like there's a few more people than before. And uh, yeah, uh, so uh, Jade Star, they are on sale, but maybe only for beta testers. No, not for only beta testers. They're on sale for everybody. I do believe. Are they on sale? Yeah, they're on sale for everybody. I'm pretty sure they're 19 19 Pretty sure. Um, yeah, yeah, they're on sale for everybody. What are you talking about, Papa? All right, and remember, join the Discord. There's a link up the top. Come and join on the Discord and all of that jazz too. All right, folks, have a great day. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all make lots of music. And the next time I'll be back will be tomorrow and I'll be doing uh, the opening hour for Pete Johns. I'm not sure what kind of music I'm going to play, but I'll be playing something. And guess what? Pete Johns is coming up next. He's got YML happening. Uh, so if you would like to do that, uh, there's my Patreon too, if you'd like to join that. Um, you can always head over to our Facebook page, all that kind of stuff. Pete Johns is up next. Thanks, uh, Tom Rochelle, for putting that in. If you haven't been to YML, go over and check out YML because it's full of really cool people's music. And uh, pa Paul is going to have to rewind. <laughs> that's about it i'm gonna say goodbye and you all take care and let's try ending the show with some different music today let's try this one <laughs> ah! <laughs> i'll see you all next time next time gadget <laughs> Thank you.